Hello and welcome to Vlogtober day 31. Well, we have made it to the end of the month. I didn't think I'd do it, <laughs> I must admit. Oh dear, well happy Halloween everyone. It is now, uh, oh it's ten past one. <laughs> I haven't changed my clock yet. Um, last night when I finished the vlog and I said I was going to go and chill out and do some knitting, <laughs> finish my sock off. Well that never happened. Never happened. Um, Adele and Kevin arrived home at about eight o'clock. The tea was all ready. They had, they had curry. I'd had mine a bit earlier. So I made that curry. And yeah, and I said to Adele, I said, how has it been? Have you had a good day? Yes, she said. <laughs> I, I need more stuff. I've got to make, she said. I thought, okay. I said, well, have your tea first then. <laughs> Then you can go and make um, and then it's oh, can I have some frogs and I'm like I've got you two now I want more than that <laughs> so I said so right okay I'll make you a few more I said but first I need to edit today's vlog and upload it and everything so I need to do that first so I did that had a cup of tea and then I came out here about must have been 10 30 last night so I got the embroidery machine going and obviously I'd saved the four frogs and I just made sure it was going to stitch out in the right order put all the frogs together which it did do so how many did, did I do? Uh, I don't know if it was 40 it might it could be 15 actually I ended up losing one I can't remember why now but I made a mess of one for some reason yeah, so she got, I think she got, yeah, 15 frogs. So I sat out here and I stitched them out, cut them out, and I sat and stuffed, which was fine. So I am not sure what time I went in. It might have been, I don't know, half 11, half 11 by the time I'd done. Um, so I got myself a cup of tea, decaf tea. And I've put some vlogs on and just settled myself down on the settee for a little while. And I started stitch, stitching the bottoms up, which they don't take too long. But I was sort of up and down and doing. But I must admit, I was struggling a bit last night because my hand was obviously, I sort of overused it a bit like this week doing the hand sewing. Um, so by the time I'd finished and gave them to Adele and everything, it was about half one when I went to bed and the dad was still working in the conservatory making badges and things. So I said, so how long are you going to stop up? She says, not long. Once I've finished these, I'll be off to bed. So I said to her, don't worry. I said, when it's two o'clock, I said, the clock's going back. So it'll only be one o'clock so you can keep working. <laughs> she didn't find that funny. <laughs> so I really don't know what time she went to bed. Um, but Kevin didn't, he, he went off to bed before me last night and he didn't even set his alarm so I was surprised he was up but he was up at half seven I think or maybe quarter past seven uh, and Adele got up and they they went off but I woke up at half seven as well which that is not like me you know I never hear his alarm go off I never hear him getting out of bed he doesn't he never disturbs me but he has he has been and I'm just wondering if it's I don't know, the lack the lack of caffeine that I'm having now. My sleep pattern has seemed to change. It's like I'm actually tired when it comes to going to bed, as I should be, not wide awake and raring to go. So maybe it's obviously doing me a bit of good. But then this morning when I got up, I mean, I was awake at half seven and I didn't get up till about nine o'clock, I think, or half nine. I was absolutely exhausted this morning. It was really weird. I haven't felt like that for a long time in the morning. Oh, my hand. Oh, God. It was really stiff and achy this morning. And I did find I woke up. I, I think I sleep with my fists clenched like that for some reason. I don't know why. So, of course, when I woke up, my hand was all stiff. So I thought, well, I'm not doing any more hand sewing for a bit. She's going to have to wait. I will probably stitch out some more frogs for her because she's got two more conventions coming up. But they will get stitched a little bit at a time. So I'm not having a bad hand. So 
this is the first time I've actually got out into my sewing room and like I say it's gone one o'clock so I am determined to get those bags stitched today because that's what I want to do <clears throat> now I seem to have perked up a bit now come round a bit um I had what did I have for my, oh, I had a decaf tea for my lunch and I got some ghost crumpets in the freezer that I bought a few weeks ago I think when they first came out at Asda so I've had them for lunch and I've left the others out for Jake and Adele I've also put two of the smaller pumpkins in the oven so while I'm sewing they're cooking away and I'm going to make some pumpkin soup for tonight I had every intention of going down to Tesco's today I thought a bit of a walk or Oh, perked me up a little bit, but when I got up this morning, it was just raining. I mean, it was absolutely pouring down with rain, and the skies were just black. Anyhow, come 11 o'clock, it just all disappeared. We've got sunshine and clear blue skies now, which is nice, but I really don't want to go down to Tesco's now. <sighs> so, yes, I'm going to sew instead. <laughs> I was looking at my recipes. I, I'm not sure if I've got everything everything to make pumpkin bread because I had planned on making pumpkin bread and pumpkin pie and pumpkin soup today but I think the pie will have to wait I think we'll definitely get the soup today and I need to just check on the ingredients for the pumpkin well it's pumpkin bread but it's like a cake and if, I, if I've got enough I will make that later on this evening so yes I'm going to get on with some sewing now so I will catch you on a bit later And I've managed to get my sewing done so the, I've made five bags today I had a little bit of a break I had about three three hours break um, I had to sort of get the recycling ready for tomorrow and I've got a bit of washing up to do and everything I mean that's keep my eye on the pumpkin yeah the pumpkins um, I had visitors grand children came round for a while so they stayed for a bit uh yeah so that's basically what i've been doing anyhow I've, the bags have not uh, i've not top stitched them yet so i thought i'd show what i've done well there's my scooby-doo bag so yeah and the inside has got that and i like this fabric i like both of them and what i've done it's it's like reversible so I have a little tab there as well <laughs> so if I fancy a change I can do but no I like that so like I say all I've got to do is top stitch the, all the bags and uh, yeah put a ring on it and give them a press and then that's it so what I'm going to do now is uh, put my scooby-doo yarn in my scooby-doo bag so, yeah. so I really like that one that'll have pride of place on my knitting shelf so I'm going to leave that there and uh, the other one I made a bit of a boo-boo with this one um I cut the fabric last night and I cut it the pattern too low down so the pattern needs to go up about an inch or so but apart from that it's it's turned out okay uh, I've got to it is a white lining but it looks cream well I haven't stitched that one it looks cream because of the wadding that's in there but no, I like that one. And then I've got the autumn one. So I've used the three fabrics. So I've used the green on all three of them for the, the top bits. And I've just lined it with the nice white that I've got. But I really like these autumn fabrics. They are so nice. So different. And I can't make up my mind which I like the best. I think this one is, I think because it's got toasters on, I think that one's my favourite. 
and then that's my second and then this is the third yeah so what else have I got to do I think that's going to be it actually for tonight like I said I can top stitch tomorrow I haven't made my pumpkin cake <laughs> when you get visitors you can't really do that can you um i'm not sure if i want to do it now i mean it is 20 to 7 now and i think they'll all be back by about half past seven and tea's ready we've got a pasta well i suppose it's like a pasta bait really pasta and vegetables with lentils in and a nice sauce and the sauce i just used i've got a jar of pasta sauce in the cupboard and i've got a, a tin of um coconut milk that's it and i've just seasoned it and it tastes really nice uh pumpkins cooked so i took all the innards out <laughs> quite a lot of water comes out of them and yeah so the flesh is just sat in a bowl now i didn't know whether to puree it up a bit and put it in with the pasta but i don't know i might leave it and eat. that's going to be some soup then probably for tomorrow so i hope i can get some bread some yeah the pumpkin bread made sometime this week i should think anyhow i think i'm probably going to round this vlog up now so thank you for joining me for the last day of vlogtober i hope everybody's enjoying their halloween day whatever you're doing have you been trick-or-treating do you have children grandchildren <laughs> when mine came around they were all dressed up in the costumes so they're having a whale of a time so i think they'll be off out trick-or-treating now because when they left here they were going home for the teas um so i'm going to go i think now and make myself a nice cup of tea and i'm going to go and get my dvd on of hocus pocus so that's going to be me for tonight with hopefully some knitting <laughs> it depends if salem wants to behave himself he's been a bit needy today i've been in and out of the house and obviously visitors and he, he actually wasn't too bad he came he was in the living room with us all and he was a bit playful so yeah he's getting used to people bramble was nowhere to be seen so i don't know where she's gone to now gonna have to hide but the fireworks are going off so she'll be scared again and she'll be hiding so yeah well, she's not good poor little thing anyhow i'm going now <laughs> so i will see you all again sometime next week probably with my back to my weekly vlogs so i'm going to try and be good and keep up with the weekly vlogs and then i'll be back for vlogmas in december so that should be fun so take care everybody and thank you for joining me and i'll see you all again pretty soon bye for now Thank you.